Hi, this is Mary. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm here to talk to you about rhythm and dynamics while playing the ukulele. This can apply to all instruments, even while using your voice. You need to have rhythm and you need to have dynamics. First, let's talk about what what is dynamics. Dynamics means when you get really quiet and then get really loud. It's any kind of fluctuation in volume. For example, Maybe I'm playing a song and I think that it's gonna sound really good if I'm really quiet when I play the verse and then I get really loud when I play the chorus. So. song sound special so when you're songwriting this week try to make some quiet parts and some loud parts that's what good musicians do next we need to talk about rhythm but before we talk about rhythm I want to talk about what tempo is tempo is how fast or slow you're playing rhythm is different rhythm we're talking about playing along with a beat you can use a metronome which is something that keeps the time or you're just playing along with yourself and you kind of have a metronome in your head. Today, we're gonna to use a metronome that is at 104 beats per minute. It is ticking away and we're gonna go in 4-4 four, four time. What's 4-4 four, four time? Well, it's when one measure is broken into four parts. Those are called quarter notes. If you've done some fractions before, it's the same thing. There are four parts inside of there. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four. Those are quarter notes. If we add an and, that's how we get it to be eighth notes. One and two and three and four. It's the same amount of time for me to say one, two, three, four, as it is for me to say one and two and three and four. I'm just adding more notes in there. If I were clapping it, one, two, three, four, versus one and two and three and four. It's the same chunk of time, just more claps. You're gonna do that on your ukulele, but with strumming. I wanna make sure that your hand is in a good shape for strumming. I dropped my pick, but it's okay, because I don't always use a pick. If you are using a pick, you're gonna kind of pinch your fingers together, and in between there is where the pick's gonna go. If you're not using it, you're doing the same thing. So this is the shape of your hand. It should look like that when you're looking down. And remember, your blue heart's always on the bottom, right here. When you're strumming, you should be building up a little callus right here if you're not using a pick, but if you are using a pick, you might not have one. A callus is a little tough piece of skin that forms when you're an awesome guitar or ukulele player to help protect your fingers. I have one right there because I don't use a pick that much. Let's turn our metronome on. Do you hear those clicks? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When you're songwriting, you might decide, oh, I want to go C, F, C, F. You might want to decide how many measures you're going to do that for. So for example, if you were to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then switch to your F, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you would be doing two measures for the C and two measures for the F because you counted to four twice for each chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And switch to the F. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. What happens if you want to get a little bit fancy? There's lots of different ways to do that. One way is strumming up. You can strum up and you can strum down and you can do any combination of that. I'm gonna strum down on the one, up on the two, down on the three, up on the four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we switch to my F. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's one way to do it. You can make up any combination of that. Another fun thing to do is to do some palm muting. doing this palm muting. I'm strumming down with my thumb and then I kind of lightly tap my ukulele. So there's lots of fun ways that you can play with rhythm. One 
thing I would advise you to do as you're working on rhythm is maybe try to learn somebody else's song. When you're doing that, listen to how they're strumming. Try to learn some different strum patterns. One of my favorite strum patterns that I use all the time is I strum down, down, up, up, down, up. I do it all the time for so many of my songs. So let's practice that together. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. heard that somewhere and figured it out. I don't remember it was a long time ago because I always played that, but you can do any combination of downstrokes and upstrokes and palm muting at any tempo that you want, including dynamics and following a rhythm. I hope this is helpful for you. The cool thing about it is you can practice your rhythm at the same time that you're practicing switching chords. It might take you a long time to switch from C to G. One thing you can do is practice that. Maybe you want to do two measures of C and then two measures of G. That will help you just sit there and go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Tell yourself to do that five times a day and you will be awesome at switching and awesome at rhythm. Maybe you want to try different strum patterns when you do that. the palm muting one. Good luck playing ukulele. Please go on Zoom if you have any questions. I'll see you around and good luck.